Without letting go, slowly rotate the probe through 360 degrees to look for the tallest, brightest waveform with the black centre. You may need to adjust the volume control as you listen for the associated loudest, sharpest whip crack. If the correct signal is not found, withdraw the probe by about 1 cm and slowly rotate through 360 degrees in the opposite direction. This may be repeated until marker 1 arrives at the incisors for oral insertion or marker 2 at the nostril for nasal insertion. You may need to extend slightly beyond the marker range if the patient is exceptionally tall or small. Avoid turning the probe when changing depth in the esophagus, as the signal could be missed. Do not assume that the first signal found is the optimum one. Take a look at different depths near to the markers to check for the optimal waveform. On finding the signal, very slightly overturn the probe and hold it for a second before letting go, as this may allow the spring to relax into the correct position.